the present problem considered is uh, on the topic of uh, wave propagation and to be more specific uh, it is uh, uh, related to boundary conditions so uh, we see this problem this is of gate 2014 and of two marks on the topic of boundary conditions we read out the problem here a region shown below contains a perfect conducting half space and air the surface current ks on the surface of the perfect conductor is ks equals to unit vector x into 2 that 2x amperes per meter the tangential h field in the air just above the perfect conductor is we have to find the tangential h field uh in the air and uh, these are the four options here and we have to find the value of the magnetic field okay so basically uh this is a problem of uh, boundary condition uh having two media one is dielectric other is perfect conductor these are the two media as shown here in this problem uh it shows that uh, ks is the current in the x direction y is the direction this is x direction so y corresponding direction and there is z direction is uh, perpendicular to the plane of this paper and then uh, and it is basically a right handed uh, coordinate system and we have to find the value of the magnetic field uh for the current of uh, surface current of uh, 2 amperes per meter so let us uh, start with this problem uh here the it says that region contains perfect conductor and air so this is this region is a perfect conductor and top region is the air and it is given the surface current is given to be ks that is uh, surface current given is uh, ks equals to x2 x is the unit vector in x direction so its magnitude of 2 amperes per meter in the x direction okay now we know a good conductor uh, at high frequencies the current flows on the surface of the conductor that means in deep into the deep uh, into the conductor the current density would be uh, very low and uh, most of the current will be flowing on the surface of the conductor and this is the interface here so uh, we consider it the current is flowing not in the complete volume of this uh, perfect conductor but it is as a surface current it is flowing in the sheet which is at the surface of this uh, metal conductor okay so the current is uh, flows in the sheet sheet near the surface and that is why it is indicated here amperes per meter that means per meter width of the sheet this is current current is amperes per meter width of the sheet okay now uh we see here uh <coughs> magnetic field h and surface current js are parallel to the surface what is trying to say is this is the direction of the current the direction of the this is the direction uh, which is normal to x and the direction of h would be would be normal to this uh, uh plane and would be in the z direction and uh you can see this uh, when it is uh, normal to this uh, and in the z direction uh you can uh, try to find that uh, what is the value of this uh, magnetic field but this magnetic field would be it would be in the plane of this interface this magnetic field would be basically will be in xz plane magnetic field would be in xz plane okay this y is normal to this xz plane so uh magnetic field h and surface current are parallel to the surface so uh we can find here 
this uh, there is a relation uh, well known uh, you can find in any standard uh, textbook on electromagnetic fields that uh, if uh, there is a boundary magnetic uh, there is a boundary here this is a conductor above is a dielectric then at this interface the surface current is given by n the normal component to the surface that is a normal vector n cross h and h would be in the plane of uh, this interface so n cross h will give me the surface current so this is the relation it's a well known relation so the same relation we will be using here in this uh, particular problem so uh, it says that here y we know that y here you can know here y is normal to the surface so y is normal to the surface so we can say y cross and uh, we don't know what is the multiplying factor here to z y cross z this is unit vector in z direction y cross z would be equal to ks we can because we know as per earlier relation n cross h is equal to js so this is y cross uh, the factor here multiplying factor into z cross z equal to ks y cross this multiplying factor uh, z equals to is given here twice x now this y is a unit vector in y direction z is a unit vector in z direction so these are the unit vectors so this magnitude on left hand side has to be equal to twice ax ax is the uh, surface current in x direction and y cross z would also give the x direction so this would be the same current so the multiplying factor here if you take uh, the cross product here these are unit vectors so if you have this multiplying factor to be 2 if you have this factor to be 2 then this equation will be satisfied that means we can have a factor of 2 here then this equation will be satisfied because y cross z will give me the vector in x direction and whose magnitude is 2 so this satisfies the equation so the magnetic field value is uh, going to be here uh, 2 magnitude that means h would be z magnitude 2 so this would be the value of magnetic field this is the direction of magnetic field in the z direction and this is the magnitude of magnetic field so the this corresponds to um, option D of this problem so although this problem is quite simple but uh, this problem does involve uh, does involve some concept uh, regarding the surface current and uh, how it need to be determined thank you